Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Zat. And, uh, we're gonna be starting a new game on No Man's Sky Beyond Update. Uh, we're gonna completely ignore this as this up. This was me getting used to the Beyond Update and seeing what was new as I haven't played this game since the release before the Beyond Update. So, we're gonna play it on... We're just gonna play it on normal. But... This update is extremely great. I love it. Every single bit of it. The stacking of multiple, um, like the 9,999 stacking of mat uh, materials, the, um, the stacking of mods for your equipment, the stacking of mods for all of your, just stacking of mods, the, uh, so for better boosts. So many good things came in from this update. The better base building from what I've heard, uh, from, I don't know which update this came from. Supposedly it came in from the Beyond update, but the base building is superior in every single way than it did before. Let's see where we are. What is that? A toxic planet. Extra oh my god, look at the, how hot it is. 154 degrees. Holy Jesus. This is terrible. Alright, uh, I'm actually going to be playing in first person, if you guys want me to play in third person, I'll play in third person, but I prefer third person, uh, first person. Alright, so what do I need to fix? I need to, I know I need to fix everything, but, launch thrusters, pure ferrite, dihydrogen jelly, hermetic seal, metal plating, so that's ferrite dust. Hermetic seal, I think that forces you to find one before you get the blueprint. Ferrite, du pure ferrite, so I need to cook up 100 ferrite to get that. Dihydrogen, to get the dihydrogen jelly, that's 40. And pff, scanners, ferrite dust. Okay, so we just need to get a bunch of ferrite dust. I'll be back in a second after I get all this far uh, to fix the scanner and um actually I have enough to fix the scanner. Let me fix the scanner right now. Bam. Alright. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? Oh, there's some tie hydrogen. Cool. Alright, I lost the ship. I don't know where the ship is. We have a bit of a problem here. That's fine. 
Oh, I had to do all the basic tutorial stuff to fix my, uh... Until I could find the ship. We're taking everything before we actually... Oh, we got a dihydrogen jelly out of that. Nice. Get sodium. Fill it up. There we go. We should be good for a little bit. There's my ship. Is that all sodium? Oh no, that's a plant. I need carbon nanotubes. You can tell I'm kind of panicking a little bit. Because the beginning of the game is extremely stressful. I kind of want to just get the ship up and running for this first part. It's going to be the main goal. Get the ship up and running. Get some of the main part, main uh, tools built, like the scanner. Um, and whatnot. Like... Like, the, we gotta build the launch thrusters, the pulse engine, the scanner, and the analysis visor. We got the Indian scanner already built, we still need to build the analysis visor. We could probably build the analysis visor right now, if we can... If this gives us carbon. I don't know what this gives. Beautiful. Exactly what we needed. Oh, it's gone. Alright. Multi-tool, fill this up. Like, I don't know how much this is at. I'm just getting, like, an infinite supply of carbon. I'm kind of confused. This thing is really just giving me an infinite supply of carbon. Did this, does this thing not break? Whatever. Alright, now that I have the carbon... Make that... Gonna need some more dihydrogen jelly. Hold on, let me turn down the music a little bit. Why is this music so loud? Jesus Christ. General options. It's at 50 and it's so loud. Calm down, game. 10. That's even still loud. We'll do 10. No, we'll still do 10. It's not too loud. We'll do seven. Eight. And we'll turn this down to 50. 45. 40. 35. That needs to be turned up. I like the sound of hearing the lasers. I don't know why the music was so loud. We should be good, though. We have a large portion of, uh... We have a large amount of carbon to spare. We have a decent amount of, uh... 
carbon nanotubes. What were those for? Oh yeah, that was for the ship. I don't remember if it was for one. It needed one or it needed two. Doesn't matter. We have, like, enough carbon to last us a lifetime. Iteration. Atlas connection, intermit. Launch thrusters, offline. Pulse engine, offline. Throw myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, in no sense of a before. But this ship ha at least has some. seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least. Uh, that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and the ship is a lifeline out of the to the stars. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. Okay. Cool. So we should be able to just pop that in. We need pure ferrite. We won't be able to get that right away. We're gonna have to wait a second. But where did I need this? Oh, there we go. The, na the nanotubes were for that. There we go. The analysis visor. I knew I needed the nanotubes for something. No, I need metal plating and... Metal plating is fairy dust. <laughs> Sir? Sir? Then we open up this and got some sodium. Nice. Not exactly great, but we're gonna actually access this damaged machinery, and this should lead us over to I need pure ferrite. Great. Metal plating and oxygen. A lot of things I need right now. Yes, the, so the main goal of this I this uh, episode will, I guess, get the ship up and running. I'm going to actually turn this down as well because this is really loud too. That's video. General. I don't know why that's really loud too. Alright, that's fine. Um, so yeah, we're just going to be working on getting the ship up and running. That's going to be a while. I know for a fact 
we still have to run through a storm and get the blueprint for the what's it called Cock ferret dust pulse engine okay where's the ferret dust at you ferret dust probably and sodium and geode nice 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 the usually the geodes will give you the ferret dust yeah there you go we need metal plating I'm just gonna make another one hermetic seal uh, I don't have the hermetic seal right now but that half is done that's fine, right? Yes. Now we just need the pure ferrite. We need oxygen now. Oh, look what we have here, oxygen. Pretty lucky start right here. All right, then we throw in the carbon. I won't, I don't really worry about too much about the carbon. Rusted metal should give us fairy dust. We could cook this up. It's a one to two ratio. Okay. Wait, it's a one to two ratio? One rusted metal gives us two ferrite dust? That's actually really good. I actually learned about that from watching a video that you can cook up rust and metal and make ferret dust. I didn't know it was actually this good. Yeah, there's no point in keeping the rust and metal, so we'll turn all of this into ferret dust. And then we'll probably turn half of it into half the ferrite dust into ferrite pure ferrite mainly due to the fact that we already have a little bit of ferrite uh, ferrite dust this plane is broken what the heck Phosphorus. Not bad. Alright. Now we could take this. Put you here. And start cooking you up. I don't know how much I have. Not a lot. So I'm going to actually keep the rest of this fairy dust. And we're going to also keep the rest of... Uh, we're going to take that pure ferrite. That should be enough to make the, this launch thruster. And then the launch thruster... Oh yeah, the launch thruster is made. Now it's completely repaired. And then we just need the hermetic seal. Multi-tool is completely fixed. Okay, just fly right through the mountain. Yeah, we're, we're all fine now. Nice, nice, nice. What did this need? Pure ferry. Yeah, nice. Might as well get as much as we can get in the beginning. Iteration. Functional. Starship critically damaged, vital ingredient missing. Unable to synthesize required components, pulse engine hermetic seal. Request assistance. Yes. This will lead us to where the hermetic seal is. Recommendation, her iteration, comparison, or reveals. Hermetic seal nearby, salvage, planetary chart from distress, distress beacon cache. This right here. Right? Or this.
Yeah, there we go. Now we have a planetary chart. Use the planetary chart, and this will tell us where the Hermetic Seal is. So it's on our bottom left, right there. Right, right in front of us. It's actually really close. I've had, I've had planets where it was like on the whole other world. Not really whole other world, but like it was far, like three thousand units. This one's like three feet. Like no joke. That's what it feels like. Oh my legs. We're going to take that, and we're going to take this dihydrogen, because we're going to need this. A lot of it. Early on, early on, dihydrogen is extremely useful. Like... Uh-oh. 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 This is not good, especially with my jetpack being like one inch. Alright. Good news is that we're basically there, right? Almost. And we're getting some sodium and oxygen on the way there. Oh my god. A lot of oxygen, oh my god. Forget the storm, we need this oxygen. Look at how much oxygen is here, holy my god. Now we're at, we have a bit of a problem where we're going to be taking some big damage. Take the sodium. Take the sodium. Fill this up. And we should be safe. If I can get in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. All right. No one making the recording in case leaving behind in the fabricator might be of use. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. Rest in peace. The log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out the supplies. I have the hermetic seal I need. Whoever it was led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Let's actually loot this whole place because this place can give us some good old stowings. Oh my god, good start right there. Now, this storm will not subside until I get back to my ship, so... So, we're just going to have to deal with it and make our way back. Oh, where's the... Oh, wait, no. The storm, the storm is gone. Oh my god, it is actually gone. Grab all the dihydrogen in the world. We need it all. You truly don't understand how much dihydrogen I could use. Alright. Nice. Now that we have this. It'll still take us a little bit to get there. But. We got some more. 
uh, ferrite dust uh, right here. Dihydrogen, not a lot. Some more dihydrogen. Oh, I got it from that one. And a micro pro. Oh, nice. That's a, some really good early game loot. I'm not going to be worried about getting a new ship for a little bit because of the fact that this ship that we have is, unless I can find one that is actually like really cheap, like really cheap, really early on, I'm not going to be too worried about it. All the dihydrogen we can get. It's everywhere on this planet. My god. Before I leave this planet, I'm gonna stock up on as much as I can get. Oh my god. I'm the hiccups all of a sudden. And I can't stop them. Oh my god. It's so, so painful for no reason. They're just pure torture. Wait, where? Oh, it was this thing. Carbon and oxygen from a single plant? Oh, that's good stuff right there. Now, I don't... I, I'm unsure on what I want to get first. I'm probably going to try to get a multi-tool first, because this thing is... Yeah, I'm getting a multi-tool first. Did I miss something here? Ah, I did. Oh yeah, I can't get into there because that's an Atlas, Atlas Pass V1 and I don't have that. So, oh, our um, life support's kind of low, so let's fill this up with the oxygen that we have. And then let's fix this thing with the Hermetic Seal that we just got. And this should give us also the blueprint to make Hermetic Seals. Let me check. Yes, we can make Hermetic Seals now. And look at we have a microprocessor. Nice. What the heck are these crystal fragments for? What does that give me? Like really, what did anti hydrogen? had to be I have no okay tritium pyrite uranium and launch fuel Alright. I'm gonna leave it. I'm actually gonna head up into space. We're gonna look for the, uh, see if this solar system... Five planets, one moon, Viking, alchemical, and promising. Pretty good. But it said it's at war. Test it.
I'm trying to like do this little tutorial real quick, uh, and then I'm gonna see if I can find. Oh, hold on. Incoming transmission source, four nine two five B. Please identify yourself. I'm. Identify myself. You are not alone. Follow the. The broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be set on planetary uh, set of planetary coordinates. Input coordinate code. Whilst we're out in space, we should get as much tritium, silver, and gold as we can get, because this will help us get as much money as we can get early on. The silver, gold, and platinum, anyways. Not the tritium. Oh, since we're here also, let's scan these planets. So, what did this planet have? This planet... Scan. Selenium, copper is pretty good. Phosphorus and cobalt. Cobalt's another really good one for money. That's, I'm assuming, the moon. Rusted metal, silver, copper, and silver and copper. Unknown planet, scan that. Copper, gold, and magnetite. That's a good planet for starting off. There's the moon. That's a small moon. Wow. I'm trying not to, like, move left or right, because that's so small. Starbulb. Starbulb's pretty good. Copper, paraffinium, and magnetite. All pretty good planets. Oh, wait, did I skin this one? And no, this is the last one. Pretty trash. The copper's pretty good. Now, what I'm looking for... Is seeing if this planet has a... Can you see if this planet has a... A trading station? A trading post around here? I don't know if you can see if it does on, on like the loading uh, on the pause menu. I would like to see if it does. Wow, this is far. Wow, this is far. Is that it? Oh, it does! It's in the ring, right there. Like, right in the middle of, my, of the screen. You could see it. Nice. It's so small, but you, you'll see it once we get close. You can tell that it's a trading post because, unlike asteroids, you can see them from a lot further of a, a distance. Like this guy right here. This is the trading post. Which is perfect. This is what I wanted to go to. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Low. Ooh, that's a low atmosphere one as well.
Ah! All right, and also since we're here, let's activate the, the portal here. The portal's activated now. Grab as much as we can. Sell the starship. Sell the silver. Sell the gold. And uh, do I have anything else that might be? No, nothing else that to be sold. That's fine. And then we should have some other stuff that can we can grab. Like these nanites. This carbon. Grab as much as you can. As whenever you're coming over to a new solar system um, on the trading post, there's always... Hey, nice, a ship. What is it? 45 million. Ooh, that's expensive. There's always going to be these little things around every once in a while that you could just pick up and they'll give you free money or nanites or stuff like that. It's not all the time, but it's a chance. Like this guy. Encrypted navigation data. There we go. If we got a free nav data. And then... Also, since we're here, we should also come over here and get our, not exactly free, but free suit upgrade. And then come over here, get another navigation data. Always check the stores as well for any of these. I'm not going to be checking any, checking what the stores are selling because I don't really have any money at the moment. Next episode, that may change. It all depends on what's going to be going on. I'm just seeing what we can get. Nanites. Mm, all right. That looks like it's it. All right, I guess I'll leave it leave it here, guys. And in the next episode, we will be heading over to that signal source and see what's going on. We will also see, see if we can possibly get a better tool, better weapon, uh, I mean, better ship. See, probably a better ship is probably later on, but see if we can possibly get a better tool as well. I don't know. All of this may be... We'll see what's going on in the next episode. Alright? Well, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, if you want to see more of this. And subscribe. Alright?